Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Um, we're back in our first house. Uh, before we go and find out what's happened to the house that we bought, Merry Christmas! I really hope that you're having a fantastic day and that you've been spending lots of time with your friends and your family. You've been having wonderful times. You you know, if you if you are celebrating Christmas and you've gotten, you know, some pretty cool stuff and um, you, you've had a yeah, absolutely wonderful time. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then I hope it was the best December the 25th that you've ever experienced anyway. Um, now, why do we not have a house? When we left, we had a house. We'd bought a house and we'd done stuff with the house and now we don't have a house. And where's our house gone? I mean, we've got the money back. We got like five grand, but we have no house. This is a very serious thing. Um, we we'd cleaned it and we'd done stuff to it, and now look, we we don't have our house anymore. I don't like this. Um, is there is there a way to get to it? I, I yeah, I got a feeling that this that's it. You've got to like you've got to do it, and you've got to do the thing up in a single day or you don't get to have your house or is it just somewhere somewhere else is it elsewhere on the street can we escape let me out i need to go i need to go and get my house you don't understand you don't understand people i don't live here anymore i was kidnapped okay um that is apparently a bit of an issue i guess that you we've just got to do the house during the single episode so um we'll remember that for next time we'll buy the house right at the start of an episode um i'm looking through the list here we've got one there for fifteen and a half thousand so we're gonna have to save up a little bit more money this is a real shame to me because you know we we had the house and we like we had stuff ready to go um i need to go back go to mail aunt's home to redecorate this is ah, i'm got i'm i am actually a bit disappointed about that uh let me just go here a minute and we'll just go to tab and see if we can actually go to our house. Um, I'm scrolling down as far as I can. and Because uh, I, I also wanted to find out if I could fi um, get flooring. Because, you know, we couldn't do flooring last time. But no, apparently there is no flooring. Um, yeah, no. That's not happening. Uh, so what else we got? We got perks in here. And that's everything there in the perks section. And statistics... Cleaned, build, sold, tiled, uh, bought. Right, so that's that's like bits that we've done. And then you've got the ca Oh, you've got a camera mode. I didn't even know you had that. Right, well, we won't worry about play um, doing a camera mode right now. We're going to accept this one. House is typically decorated as for an old lady. I'd want to live in it, but lacks furniture. Needs to introduce some modernity to it. Mo modernity? Mo mod modernity? Um, modern it needs to be modernized. Um, paint walls with more modern colors, get rid of old worn furniture. I'd like specific furniture in their place. So we'll accept that one and we'll go and do this. So yes, it is a little bit of a shame that our house seems to have vanished into the nether, but um, it was pretty run down. So we're just going to make the assumption that the place was demolished. Um, there was a lot of requests when uh, the guys who made this game, they did put out on the, um, on the thingy, uh, the thingy on, on Facebook page what would people like to see and one of the things that a lot of people said was like gardening and a bit of landscaping outside so that could very well be asked um, or added to the game at a later date now remember it's still in early development so anything could yet happen we, we don't yet know what's going to a basement right we've got to mount electrical outlets well there's one that's got to go there and I think that's the only thing that we've got to do in here. So, yes, obviously the game is still in development. So we're going to have things happen like our houses are just going to vanish into the nether. But we do have five and a half grand, which means that the house, we didn't lose the money. We've still got the money that we had from the house. It's just that I guess it sold it at the end of the episode, you know, when we saved and exited. Because it always puts you back at that first house. A um, little bit of a shame, but that's okay. So we've done one room. Let's go on up through here. I will warn you, I have the makings of a cold currently. And part of that cold does mean... Oh, we got... There's a lot of stuff that we've actually got to do in this room right here. There is a lot of stuff that we've got to do. Uh, we don't have to do any cleaning, at least. No, th this lady was very, very particular. Place furniture, refrigerator, set of kitchen island and sink, set kit. All in here? Wow. Um, but yes, I have the makings of a cold, and um, at the moment I've got a little bit of a sore throat, so I'm not able to talk particularly well. So I need to get rid of this stuff. Um, 
it's not holding me back at the moment, the, the whole talking thing, but um, it, it probably will at some point. It would probably mean that I may need to, like, oh, I can sell a door if I want to. I may need to, um, uh, like, cut the episode a little bit shorter than normal. And what do we got here? So paint, um, place furniture, single bed, desk, standard chair, bookcase, calyx, and then paint. So I'm going to get rid of the wall decorations as well because they haven't specifically said that they want them. And what about the lighting? I bet I, I'm going to keep the lighting there, you know, because we, we do kind of need that. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to build. I don't want to be building. No, I don't want to build wall upper either. Let's go to that one. And then we go here and we'll go to radiator. And we'll buy that one and we'll put it on the wall right here. Then we can mount it onto the wall. And after we've mounted this one, we'll we'll do the painting next. We're not going to buy all the furniture until we've done the painting. I figured it'd probably be the best way round to do it. We don't really want to do it the other way around. Uh, is there any sockets got to be put in here? No, there isn't. So we want dark blue and sky blue. It doesn't say what bit has got to go where. So I'm going to go with the dark blue on... You know, I actually have no idea. I would guess the dark blue on the outside and the sky blue on the inside would... I don't know I don't know what that's going to do to the room. I don't know how it's going to make it um, work. But you know, I'm thinking that might be a way to try it. We can see. I, I probably, I've probably got this wrong. It probably should be the other way around. Uh, let's go into here. I want... Sky blue. There. Bye now. we we'll put that one down there. And then you go to paint. And we go fill the roller. Right. So, yeah. I'm going to do this inside wall here with sky blue. And I'm going to do all the way along here. And then after doing this wall with sky blue, we'll do... Well, yeah. We'll do the other inside wall. And then the two outside walls we're going to do with the dark blue. Which is... Uh, yeah, just dark blue. Um, I, was, I was thinking, is, is there actually one on there, like a midnight blue or something? But no, it's not. It's just dark blue. So I don't know if this will make the room appear bigger or if it's the other way around that we should be doing it to make the room appear bigger. Or if indeed we should be alternating the colours. But I think that we could do it this way and we'll be able to... And it will make the room appear a little bit bigger because the light will come in from the window and it will reflect off of the, the real pale blue that we've got on this wall. Um, whereas if we had the dark blue there, the light would come in and it wouldn't reflect off the walls. And therefore it would make the room feel darker and it wouldn't work so well. So th this is my theory as to how to decorate a house. This is, this is what I reckon is the best way to do this. Because, um, yeah, I, I don't actually know very much about decorating a house. But this, this is what I'm guessing. So we'll just suck that bit up there. And I don't know if I need to do any other sky blue painting elsewhere in the house. I won't sell the tin of paint just yet. I will get rid of, um, I will do the rest of the painting first. So let's go there and move objects. If I open that door, pick that one up, and I'm going to carry that one, and I'm just going to put it out here for a minute. We can leave that one there, just in case we do want to use it for something else. So then we come back in here, and no, I don't want to move objects. I want to go to that one, get rid of you, and I want dark blue. There we go, that one, that's a very dark blue, isn't it? So we'll put that one down there, and then we can go to the paint tool, like that. And we can start painting this. Now, how... <laughs> oh, that is a re That is some contrast, that is. That is fantastic. Okay, let's get the... We want to do that inside one there. Apparently, you didn't need to do the inside ones there, but I, I really... I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to leave it without painting it properly. I, I really want to have this all painted, like, properly dark blue around the windows, just because I think it'd be really cool. Um, that one there that I want to do. And then we can, we'll do these little bits up the top here. Up there. There's quite a few of these to do. And they do seem to suck the paint out of the, um, the brush just as rapidly as the great big squares. Which is a little bit of a shame. I don't like that they do that. However, we do, we're, we're definitely going to make this house look good. Well, I mean, we're selling everything that's in the house. So we are going to make a small fortune from this house anyway so I feel that we could probably um, at least like do the paint job properly while we're in here and that one so now if I load a little bit more onto the roller we can do those we've got two more to do up there and then we've got some bits to do on the insides of the windows and in there so we yeah we're, we're gonna have to remember that we've got to do if we have a house to deal with we're gonna have to deal with it 
all in the same episode because the house will disappear. I'm going to try to find out between now and next time if that is something that's planning to be fixed or if it's uh, an, uh, something that we did wrong. Um, because, yeah, it would be nice to be able to come back and work on it at a later date. There we go. And that, oh, not quite on that one. So I want to do just another one. Grab that and then we can come back through. There. And there. And we've got that one as well. So now we can just fill in these last couple of little bits in the corners. And we've done the painting in this room. And then what we've got to do is we need to do the um, uh, furniture. We've got to buy a load of furniture and put that down as well. So the one thing that I don't... I, I really don't think that they've got flooring at all in the game yet. I think that is still sort of on the to-do list. So um, yes, it is a little bit of a shame. But nevertheless, uh, we can still keep going with it. Because, I mean, like that... It was the, the house that we had last week... If we could have had flooring in there, that would have been absolutely brilliant. It would have made a significant difference if we could have done the flooring as well. However, I don't think it's like spoiled it in any way. So we'll just do that one there. There we go. We've done all the painting. So now if I go here to the move objects, we'll pick that tin of paint up there. And we'll take that one out and put it out here as well. We can always sell that later on if we need to. And let's take a look. Okay, I actually quite like this effect. It's difficult to sort of see how the effect well i mean you come into the dark blue in here but you've got the light coming in through the windows and then that it does actually give the the impression that this room it does appear to make the room bigger i really like this i really do i genuinely genuinely like this right so we need a single bed a desk a standard chair bookcase calax so let's go single bed first uh we want to go down through two beds somewhere where is beds um well we've got a chair in here so we want um Desk standard chair. We've got classics. We've got a Sarko. So where's standard chair? Does it say standard chair anywhere? Or is it um, is it a modern chair, a rocking chair, a white armchair, a green chair for children? Chair son. Armchair. Rocking. Chair Jacob. Chair children. Ingolf chair. Elon chair. Some of these... Look, classic dining chair is 60 quid. 60 pounds. That's insane. Um, I think I'm, no, that's for children. Leather swivel chair. That does actually look pretty good. Um, I don't really want that one though. So let's, let's come down here. Um, I don't want it to be too plain. No, I kind of feel bad, like giving them a really, um, rubbishy chair. So let's, let's go with that one. We go for the Elan chair and we've got black. We want to try red, white, or black. Uh, I suppose white would fit in here better, wouldn't it? Let's go for white. Bye now. And I'll rotate that. How do you rotate? Oh, of course. You've got to do it like that. And then you press shift. And it does it full quarter turns like that. So we want to go that way. There. Let's drop that one down there for a minute. Um, it's still saying place furniture standard chair. i got a feeling that we've just done that wrong. We don't want an Elon chair. We want standard chair. So does it, it, it says bar chair, white armchair. Well, that makes no sense because it doesn't actually have a... Oh, chair orange. <laughs> That's the one that we're supposed to have. We can have legs black and we can have color blue to match. Right, we'll put that one in. And we'll sell the other one. Sell you. $33. Right, um, no, we'll go to that one. Uh, let's try going... We want single bed now. Let's, let's see if we can let's see if we can have a little more success with the beds than we did with the um, the other one. So we've got classic double. We've got doubles, doubles, doubles. Um, steel single bed. A single bed minimalism. It's 113. Which is the cheapest bed that we can get. Single bed grill. Single bed pine. Right, let's just go with that one. And bedding blue. Yes, we'll, we'll go for blue. And I think really we want to put that one around the other way. Like that. So that you wouldn't have the sunlight going straight into your face in the morning. But then, of course, we've got a socket right behind the bed. Um, so maybe it would be better the other way. I don't know. I'm going to go I'm gonna go like that anyway. I'm just going to drop, um, drop it down there. So the, the bed is right, but the chair is still wrong. We still don't have standard chair. Because it's not um, removed it from the list. So I'll sell that one. And we'll go back into here. Uh, let's go to desk. It just says desk, so uh, domestic, chairs, doors, kitchen set, lamps, carpets, others, tables. 
I'm guessing it'll be, I'm guessing a desk would be under table, so dining table, coffee table, stool, Andrea table, simple. Right, there's no desk in there. So it's not in desk. Maybe it's under others. We've got pictures, lamps, lamp ceiling. Oh, it might be under desk. You never know. Didn't see that one coming, did we? So we've got standard desk. I'm going to go for standard. Color is beach. What's wenge? I've no idea what wenge is. Oh, no. No, no, no. We don't, we don't want dark colored furniture in here. This is not a dark colored furniture room. Dark furniture works really well in places. I think oak, a medium color. That's quite nice, actually. It's a very nice, a rich oak, that is. There's a desk done. So we need a bookcase, a Calyx bookcase, which I'm hoping to stuff down there behind the bed. Um, so we'll go in here and we go to, where's the bookcases? Uh, they, they actually might be under others. Um, we've got, yeah, let's, let's try others. Is there a bookcase in here? Uh, what have I got? I got book E. Oh, that's just the books. Oh, you can actually like do proper decorations and stuff. Um, lamps, lamps, desks, paints, panels, tiles, radiator device, others. No, we don't. It's not under others. Lamps, kitchens, doors, domestic appliance, cupboards. It'll be under cupboards. That's what it'll be. So we want bookcase Calax is what we want. I think that's the one that we had. Yeah, there we go. It's that one there. Um, no, not you. You can go away. We want you. That one there. And do we have a blue in here? We've got high gloss grey. Nut. Um, ah, nuts. No. Let's try yellow. That's, that's, um, it's, it's quite bright, the yellow. Uh, is it gonna, is it gonna let me put it there in behind the bed? Doesn't like, oh, it is, it is. I just got to bring it back just a fraction. There we go. <laughs> that is fantastic. I like it. I like it a lot. I need a standard chair. So what, what, what's a standard chair? I don't know what a standard chair is. I got a bar chair. So the, maybe it's a white armchair. It's not the leather swivel chair. Um, in golf, chair Gilbert, chair orange, a rocking chair, modern chair. I might just, oh, armchair white, rocking white armchair, armchair brown, modern chair, I might be one of these, let's try the modern chair first, and we'll see if we can get this one, a, well, that's no good, we'll stick with white, bye, and, oop, no, I want to do that, there we go, put that one under there, no, it still won't work, it's still the wrong one. We have failed in our quest to get a standard chair into this room. Right, that one doesn't work. So let's try. I, I don't think there is a standard chair. There is no standard chair. We've got classic, a rocking chair, white armchair. This is expensive. This is, this is starting to get really expensive now. Let's go for a navy armchair. That will, that will go underneath the desk at least. At last! It had to be the expensive one, didn't it? It had to be the expensive one. So we've done that room. That room is now done. So we can close that door. Happy in the knowledge that we have completed our task. So let's come in here. Ooh. Right. Tiny little bathroom here to work in now. So what do we got to do in here? We need a sink and we need to paint with white. Uh, let's paint first and then we'll do the white after. Um, do I need to get rid of the shower? Apparently not. Um, can't, well, we'll find out if I can paint first. So I need white paint in here. So let's get, um, I need to go to there and I want to go down to paint and I want to go through and I want to find white, 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 white. Uh, there we go. White paint. Only 10 pounds. That's not bad, actually. That's a reasonable price for paint. I have bought much paint in my time and 10 pounds for a, a thing of paint is pretty reasonable. So yeah, we, we're gonna be just we're just literally painting over the tiles. I don't like I gotta be honest I don't like that. We don't remove these tiles first because I've painted over tiles before and generally the effect looks absolutely awful um, You don't it, you don't really want to unless you've got like no the choice and it's a specific like, Thing that you're going for you really don't want to be painting over tiles. It, it really does look bad It's far better to remove the tiles Repair the wall and um, smooth it all down everything get it get it a nice decent finished surface and then go through and um, Do your painting afterwards and then you you produce a really nice finish. It's well worth the effort It is quite a bit of work admittedly, but it is worth the effort at least that's in my opinion 
So let's just take that bit out of there. And we've got a few more to go up through here. We shouldn't be doing any... We don't need to worry about that vent. That vent is going to be just fine. Uh, I think I can get one more out of this roller. Yep, we can. And then suck up the next lot. Put it through here. I mean, these tiles are looking pretty grotty. Look at those. They're looking awful. They're looking absolutely terrible. So uh, it, it is looking quite... It's looking much better already with this paint. It is making a significant difference in here. So let's just grab that one. And a little bit more in there. And then that one. Right, and we've uh, we've already done a bit above the door. So we've just got those two there. One more to do. We've got enough, no, <laughs> not quite enough paint on the roller. There we go. Right, painting is done. So let's just open that door a minute and... Go to move objects. We pick that one up. We take it out and we'll put it with the other tins of paint. We'll sell all of these before we leave. Um, yeah, it's the flooring. It is it's a real shame that we can't do flooring yet. Right, so I need sink, buy and mount a new one. So um, I just want to go to here and then I want to go to bathroom, I think. Yes, mountable sink. Buy now. There's nothing else to go with it. Oh, I've still got to do the bits on there, haven't I? Um, go to E and you've got to take these caps off first. Take that one off. Take that one off, take that one off, and after you've uncapped the pipes, then you can go and buy the sink, and you can put the sink on. Can we? Then we put the sink on. Oh yeah, you just do it like that, because it's putting the stuff into the wall. So then we go E like that, and we put the bolts into the wall there. We put one in there, and then we put the attachments on for the pipes. Put that one in. Then we can put the sink on, and we've got to do the bolts up underneath. Do one up there, and then the actual nut on the top, and put the washer on, put the nut over the top. Right, that's that bit done, and then we can add in the hot and the cold water pipes. Put the mixer tap on, washers and everything in place. Plug hole, put in the pipe inserts, and then put the actual pipes in. Put the T on, and put the U-bend in, or the, uh, the trap. There's trap on there, not U-bend, but um, technically there's not really a lot of difference between them. So that is all done in there, so it's all finished. Uh, order is 38% done. So we've done those two rooms there. That one is done. Looking lovely. I like that the chair does actually match the dark walls. And um, we're looking here. That one's done down there as well. So everything down that end is done. So let's just pick up these tins of paint in a minute. And we'll put those over there to signify that we no longer need them. They are finished, done with, and out of the way. Put that over there. Right, so what's in this next room? This is the kitchen. Uh, walls mod. Oh, I see. We got to take out this wall. They want us to remove that wall and have a big open plan type thing. Uh, this could be fun. So we, yeah, that that all of this wall has got to be removed. So if I go to here, we'll go to the sell tool first, and we'll sell the door. That one's got to go. And can I sell that? I can't sell that one. I'll sell the clock. Uh, I won't sell. Right. If we got to do anything else, um. Remove furniture, old-fashioned kitchen times four walls. So I want to remove uh, that one. Oh, no. I want to sell it. There, that one, and that one have all got to go. I think the rest, I think these do stay. So anyway, we, 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 we need to do fun stuff now. Hammer time. It's hammer time. This is brilliant. I love this bit. Oh, yeah. Come on. This is awesome. We've actually got a game where you can knock the houses down. You can actually physically wallop the houses down. You, you a bit stressed at work? It's fine. Just come on here. Come on to this game and have a bit of stress relief. This is what this is all about. This is stress relief. It's brilliant. If you've ever done this in real life, you'll know that I am actually making a lot of sense. This is stress relief in real life. It's great fun. It really is. I mean, yes, you always have the danger of a pile of bricks landing on your head. Um... If you're not entirely certain what walls you should be knocking down, then there's quite a severe danger of a pile of bricks landing on your head. But, you know, generally speaking, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> just just, just be careful, yeah? I'm, I'm not um, encouraging anybody to go and knock down a whole load of stuff. Let's just go over this site. You know what? I'm thinking that perhaps we should get rid of some of this. Uh, place furniture, refrigerator, set of kitchen island, buy a mount new radiator, uh, remove furniture, old-fashioned times four, classic times two, Let's just go, um, I'm scrolling at the moment to see if that, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I don't want to do that. I want to go to the sell tool. That's what I want to go to. So I want to sell that one and I want to sell those. 
Yeah, I think I'm in. I think I'm on the right track here. Remove furniture, old fashioned times two. Uh, I think I need to get rid. Of, we've got one more piece of old fashioned furniture we want to get rid of. Is it the plant? Uh, well, where else is there old fashioned stuff? I suppose I could sell all of these. And you? No. Sell all the pictures. Sell all of the pictures. There's loads of pictures on the walls. We'll get rid of all of them. There we go. Loads of them. All gone. And uh, what about the, the lights? The hanging lights? We've got place furniture, coffee table. Remove furniture, old fashioned. Place furniture, refrigerator. So maybe I've got to get rid of that one. Yes, I had to get rid of that one. So she wants to keep the cooker. But she wants to get the rest of it had to be gotten rid of. So then we can come back to the hammer and we can keep knocking down. So we're, we're, we're fine now. We, we can keep going and we can hammer down this stuff. I'm just going to go along and I'm going to loosen it all a little bit all the way along. It's the best way to do this I've always found. Loosen, loosen a few of them all the way along. And then you can wallop a great big hole in them like this. Here we go. That's more like it. And now we'll remove the actual bit that's supporting it all, and down it'll all come with a crash. And this is where you've got to be careful of the floor. If you want to keep the flooring intact, you don't want to be doing this too enthusiastically. Um, oh, yes! Oh, that is brilliant! It's taking a while for the game to actually catch up because of the physics of the blocks falling. Uh, that is That makes me love this even more. That is that's just brilliant! Knocking little holes in it here. Knocking some more holes in it. Oh, yeah. Another big hole. Let's just take out the last one there. We've got one more bit that we want to remove there. There we go. Now I can... I'm going to start... Now, take the whole lot down now. Violence. Absolute violence. Violence never solves anything. Unless you're working in a house like this. And then violence solves a lot of things. Oh, yes. That is brilliant. Such violence. And I've, I've cured the problem. Look, see? I've, the violence has actually worked. Today, violence solves many problems. It has solved many, many problems. Go on, keep going. Keep going. I think that's I think that's about it, really. Um, you just kind of got to wait now for it to all, like, catch up and remove itself. It's, it's tidying itself up. There's a piece all the way over there. I got very enthusiastic with that. There's another piece there. Let me grab that. Boom. Nope. Yeah, it's moving it. It's, yeah, and the last piece, it should be gone. Okay, we've cleared we've cleared the wall. So now I need to do some um, some more sensible stuff. We need to go into here. We want to go to a radiator. Get that one by now, and we'll put that one on the wall over there. And let's just get this one mounted on. And then I think there is a we've got a load of painting to do. There's 122 points of painting to do, which is going to take us quite a while in this room. And then when we've done that, we've got uh, right. We've got that one. Radiator 100%. Electrical outlet is the other bit. I've got to do one electrical outlet somewhere. Where is it? Um, you know, help if I looked on my map. That would actually tell me. It's over. It's there. There it is. Go to that one down there. And we can start undoing this bit. There we go. Take that one out and remove there. Undo a couple of little screws. Take that one out. So order is already 62% done. We're, we're, we're making some good progress on this. I'm quite pleased with the progress that we are making, actually. Um, I am tempted to avoid doing the painting in this room because I just because I know it's going to take us absolutely ages to complete it. Um, if we look through here, we've got another room here. Load of stuff to get rid of. Um, we've got just room here. So we need refrigerator, um, furniture, coffee table, sofa, paint using colors orange and light peachy. I really don't want to... I, I, I'm, I literally, I can't be bothered to do the painting in here. It's going to take us forever to do the painting in here. Um, let's, all right, set kitchen with hob. Set kitchen with oven. So does that mean we need, I think we actually need to get rid of that um, cooker. Sell that one. Get rid of you. And then we'll go back to this and we'll go, right. So we want to go to the kitchen stuff. Kitchen set. So we want set of kitchen. Uh, corner kitchen set. Set of kitchen corner with sink. So it's not that. It's set kitchen with hob is what we want. Um, so I, I need to look down through and I need to find set kitchen with sink. Set kitchen with hob. That one there. And set kitchen with oven is the other one. Set kitchen with oven. That one there. So this one here, we can have the top in... Well, she's having the room as like orange. I think that white would probably... Be, 
Beach Toast Brown. Let's try that one. Drawers and plate. Steel, white. Let's go with white on there. And I'm going to rotate that one round. That's the wrong way. There we go. Right, so we want this one here. I think, really, we want to put that one along this wall here somewhere. Well, I'm going to move it up that way, like that. And then I want to get the next one, which is here. Is that one there that we want? So I'm going to try and do the same again. So the fronts we have white. And then the, not the fronts, the, the fronts frame, we want beach toast brown. So it's exactly the same as the other one. We, we basically got the matching. And then this one here wants to be up against there like that. And that's actually the wrong way around there. Let's bring that out. There we go. So that one will go in there. And, oh, yeah, it doesn't actually match up very well into the corner. So if I take this one here, I can't sort of put it there in front that's not going to match up into the corner is it um so i kind of need i do need to have that one out a bit or i need to move it around where can i put it it doesn't fit very well i mean the only other option that i've got really is if i rotate this one round um like that and i put this one underneath this window but yeah i don't like that i don't like this one anyway it feels very low down you look at it and that hob is very low down it's much lower down than um what was in here previously and quite frankly i'm not a fan of that i'm gonna do it like that so there's a little bit of a gap now this does seem unusual we've got a gap there uh, but because we've got a cupboard over in that corner i don't really think that we want to um do it very much differently to that um yeah i'm, I'm not particularly pleased with that one a uh, set of kitchen island with sink ah uh, so we want a kitchen island over here so in which case we could actually put this one next to it we could put this one over here that would work better we'll bring that one you know it probably help if we faced it the right way um it'll probably help if my no come on <laughs> my mouse is really it's really not like I'm, I'm scrolling down i'm scrolling down continuously with my mouse um, this is a whole Logitech issue. It's, it's not turned. I've not had the replacement turn up yet. Um, there is a replacement on its way. We come on. You, you got to be able to. You got to be able to. I just want it to turn once more. I can't do anything with. I can't do this because the mouse is refusing to scroll in the right direction. I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Um, I think that is no. It's not the front. That's not the front. I'm. I'm trying to rotate, and you. You can see that the mouse. Now it works. There we go. <laughs> I really can't wait for my replacement mouse to turn up. That is terrible. Is it really genuinely bad, isn't it? That is that is genuinely bad. Uh, right, there we go. So that one's there. I mean, yes, it does stick out rather a long way um, compared to the other one. But at the same time, I think it's going to be all right because we can put the, uh, the, we'll put the refrigerator there. But we want a um, set of kitchen island with sink is the other one that we want. So... Uh, with hob scroll down a little bit kitchen island with sink is what we want white kitchen cabinets kitchen corner cabinet cabinet set kitchen set kitchen there set kitchen island with sink so i want um top is white i want the um body to be beach toast brown and a sink yeah, we go for a light sink. There we go. Excellent. It all matches in neat and tidy. So if this is a beat, if this is an island, I mean, really, you want it to go with the kitchen, don't you? So it's, it's got to be that way round. Um, which way do you have it? Which how how close do you get? So if we're out here, probably about there, isn't it? That that would allow you. You've got your use of your kitchen there. Let's just come back and take a look. Um. You got use of your kitchen. You do have room to turn around and open the cupboards. Actually, I think we need to move it back just a little bit. Just to give us a little tiny bit more room for the actual kitchen. About there, I think. That's, that does seem to be better. And then we want the refrigerator here. And we actually... You know what? I'm thinking that this would be better if we moved it over just a bit. If we move it over this way. Like that. Then we're going to buy the refrigerator. So we'll, get, we'll get the refrigerator in a minute. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, we want to go kitchen set... Uh, is it kitchen set or is it... Oh, no. Domestic appliance. Um, so we've got refrigerator, refrigerator. What's the difference? What is the difference? There is no difference. They're exactly the same. 
Um, standard white, refrigerator standard black. It just says refrigerator, so we want to buy that one. Um, yeah, buy. And that's black. Oop, is my timer going off to say that we are spending a little bit too much time doing this. Order is 55% complete. It was higher than that previously. See, we seem to have regressed. Um, but yeah, if you put this, if you put the refrigerator there, can bring that a little bit closer. So, right, the fridge goes there. You've got room to get through, sort of. Uh, that was my thinking, it was you'd have room to get through. But now I'm thinking, actually, it'd be better. As we don't have room to get through, we take this one and we just move it over a bit. So that we've got room properly to get through on the other side. And then that one there, we'll bring that one forward. It's just sort of level with the, the edge there. It's level with the edge of the window. There is your kitchen. So we've, we've got a kitchen. I mean, it's probably not the best way to be laying out a kitchen, but it's important that when you build a, when you have a kitchen, you wouldn't want the refrigerator down there because you've got further to go. It gets you, you get exhausted when you're cooking. If you don't have your kitchen, sort of everything to hand all in one circle, you get genuinely exhausted when you're using it. It's a very tiring kitchen and, it, and it's, there's kind of a whole science behind it. Um, remove furniture kitchen times three. I've already removed Kurt Furniture Kitchen Times 3. Is that why it's backing up? Because I've not removed the furniture. I need to put it elsewhere. I've got a feeling they need me to move it to some other point. I'm going to be bitterly disappointed if that's the case because I've bought everything they told me to buy. Uh, place furniture, coffee table, and sofa. It's saying remove furniture. Let me um, move this one over here. No, it's still... It's, it's, it's fine. So why is it telling me to remove furniture? Kitchen times three. This makes no sense to me. It's so confusing. Um, all right, let's go into here. We can, we'll, we'll worry about the kitchen later. Um, we want to go back to our cell tool and we want to sell everything in here, don't we? So um, place furniture, coffee table. Uh, I'll sell this stuff. Still saying place furniture. Yeah, let's just sell everything in here. She, she seems to want to get rid of everything. Um, and that one. And then we can sell the items on the wall, all of these pictures. Some of these pictures look quite nice, actually. But anyway, they want to get rid of them. We need a coffee table. Uh, that's it. The only thing we need in here is coffee table. And we want to go... I don't want the hammer. I want a radiator there. Buy now. And we'll put that one on the wall. So we get the radiator in place. And we've got a socket down there right next to the radiator to put, a, put on as well. And... Um, we need to buy and mount and you have we got another radiator to put in here why would you have two radiators in the same room that makes no sense um but yeah there is two radiators in here you wouldn't normally do this by the way um you would normally have just one radiator for the room you'd make sure the radiator was the right size for the room uh, having two radiators in the same room is not actually very economical not even a little bit so we'll just take that one up like that i suppose if you've got an absolutely huge room you might do it this is not a huge room, okay? This is a small room, and that is too many radiators for this room. I can tell you that with absolute confidence that that is too many radiators for this room. There should not be two in this room. There should be one, and that one radiator actually needs to be about half the size of the one we've just stuck on the wall. Um, never mind about that. It's okay. You, the customer wants what the customer wants. You must always remember that the, you know, the customer, that they know best. It doesn't matter how much experience you've got. It doesn't matter what qualifications you've got. The customer still knows best. They always know best. So we want strawberry and sandy in here. Um, right, let's go to paint. So we'll go to strawberry first. Strawberry. There we go. And sandy is the other one that they want in here. Now, I'm not really sure what sandy paint we're going to do. Um, I'm, I'm actually kind of thinking that I'm going to do stripes in here. We're going to go for stripes. It's Christmas after all. So this is, if we can complete the order after just painting this room, then that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm not going to worry about painting the big room, but I am going to try and do stripes all the way around this room. If I can, this is going to be absolutely epic. It is going to be brilliant. So we'll do there, and then that one. There we go. Another one over here. I don't think the customer is going to like this at all. I think the customer is going to take a look at this, and they're going to genuinely feel queasy every time they walk into this room. I don't even know what color Sandy is, so <laughs> that's going to be interesting. It's going to be a yellow of some kind, isn't it? This, this is going to be hideous. This is going to be absolutely awful when we finish. It's genuinely going to be the worst paint job anybody's ever seen. Uh, that one there I need. And then there. 
This is this is so awesome. We're gonna. This is gonna be brilliant. So we 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 still gotta get the sandy paint as well, and cut that one up there. Let's go and get a little bit more paint. Stripes are carrying on. I'm curious now to find out if the stripes are gonna meet up properly when we get all the way round, or if they're gonna, if we're gonna have like a double stripe there right at the end. I really hope we don't. I really hope that this works out absolutely perfectly all the way round. That would be so cool. Get that one in there, and so where should we have the double stripe? If we got to have, I suppose actually that corner would be the best place for the double stripe if we're going to. We can complete the order. Excellent. So we don't need to worry about having to do any more. I'm not going to do under the wind. I'm going to leave that white. I'm going to do that one up there, and we can go over, and we can do that one, and we can do that one there, and we can do the same under here. We can match these up. Oh no, I can't. I need to get a bit more paint. And I can match that one up. And do that bit on there. There we go. This is brilliant. It's going to look like a circus tent, this place. It really is. The whole red and yellow thing has definitely got a circus tent theme going on, hasn't it? This is so cool. Uh, one there. Right, now this is a big question. Is, is it going to matter? I think it is. I think it's... Yes! <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Absolutely matches up perfectly. We could not have asked for better. And there we go. We've done it. Stripes all the way around. So now I've just got to get the um, the sandy paint and i got to do that. So let me just get rid of the rest of that. I'm not going to need that. Uh, sandy paint next. Well, the sandy paint is not quite as yellow as I'd hoped. But overall, I think the effect is pretty good. Look at that. We're done. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. We have genuinely got a circus tent here. This is what we've got. We have created our very own circus tent. This is absolutely brilliant. I love this. I absolutely love this. I am so pleased with this. I am very, very pleased with this. Order is 71% complete, which means that we have actually done the order. It's now completed. Although the paint is saying 81 of 82. So it does mean that there is a paint somewhere that we haven't quite finished. Uh, but looking around, I can't see it. Oh, well. I think I accidentally just started painting one of the red ones with one of the other colours and it doesn't like it. But anyway, yes, we're done. We, we've done this. Uh, we could just get a coffee table and stick in here. I don't really want to. Um, everything else is done. We've done everything in there and then it was just like this room out here. So, yes, there's some removed furniture in here. And then they want us to put a coffee table and a sofa in here as well. Um, let's just try buying a coffee table. Uh, and a sofa. So we want bathroom, beds, kitchen. Uh, what am I looking for in here? Am I looking for a living room? Living room, lounge. Bathroom, beds, cupboards, domestic chairs. I suppose it might come... Is it under chairs? I want a sofa. I want a sofa. Oh, there. Sofas is actually under sofas. Um, I didn't see that coming. So we got Ektorp. So now the problem is... Oh, sofa standard. Let's just try that one. And we'll put that one over here in, in the kitchen. I think I think in the kitchen is the best place for this one. Because yeah, I put this kitchen stuff in here and it's complaining, saying it's not in the right place. So I'm going to just um, rotate that round and we'll put that one down there. There we go. We've got that one. We just need a coffee table as well. Remove furniture kitchen at times three. Now this is the bit that I'm really annoyed about because I worked hard to put this in here. Um, and now it doesn't like it. It's still saying remove furniture kitchen times three. I don't know if maybe I've put that one in the wrong place. Let's move that one over there. Nope. I think that it's, it's just this. I mean, we've got... I can open the window. Yeah, I, I genuinely do. I think that that is the case. I think it's because we bought this and we put it in. It doesn't like it anymore. Um, We'll... We'll complete the order, I think. Let's, let's just complete the order. But, yeah, let's, let's go back here. Before we do, admire our handiwork look at that that is absolutely fantastic i am so pleased with this so so delighted with the fact that we've got this done it's just cool i'm definitely doing this again definitely doing this again unless you really 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 hate the idea of me doing this the next time we have multiple colors requested for a job but anyway can we press enter and we can complete yes i want to complete it i don't want to do any more now so, if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Rithgar. Goodbye.
and see you later.